Well, no doubt this young man is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on his opponent tonight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr., the kicks on this young man, absolutely powerful. He can do major damage, too, just by landing a couple of them. You've seen fights of his where he lands one kick to the body or one to that lead leg, and you get an immediate welter bruise, really as powerful a kicker as we've seen in the UFC in some time. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. Well, you get cracked by John Hans of Stone Lineker, and more often than not, you end up twitching on the canvas. This guy is big a power threat as we have seen in the UFC Bantamweight division. John Lineker has spent much of his Bantamweight career in that top five. We'll see if he can continue his ascent towards UFC gold tonight here in the Octagon. This guy has outstanding defense, and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. now for this featherweight fight. Both fighters are 28. Rivera is one inch taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing folks, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding really professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Jimmy Altera Rivera! And now he his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Hiding at a Paramount Weapon out of Brazil, John has a stone Lennon. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long ready? time, and it is ready? gonna go down fight. right now. And we are underway. As big a power threat as this Bantamweight division has ever seen, enter John Hands of Stone Lineker. 13 career wins by knockout. Many of them have come against elite competition. That is what he is staring at across the octagon tonight. Fans going crazy, and why not? John Lineker is back. Oh, nice. Rivera gets hit with a kick. He appears largely unfazed, but he doesn't want to take too many more of those, Joe. Oh! There he swung with a haymaker. opponent badly hurt and he gets a TKO victory early in the first round. Well, Joe, you'll never hear me complain about an early stoppage, only the late ones, and I thought this was really a perfect job by the referee. 
The offensive fighter was at his aggressive best. He was continuing to inflict damage. And once the defensive fighter stopped intelligently covering up and preventing damage, if you're the referee, you got to stop the fight, and that's exactly what he did. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. The decision Ladies is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffett. At 48 seconds in the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO, Jimmy Altera Rivera. So there he is, your winner by TKO here tonight, and the celebration is on with his coaches and his training partners waiting to exhale. He can finally exhale now after the big win, kept the judges out of it as he said he was gonna do, and he might even win a bonus after that performance, Joe. I guess we'll wait till the end of the night, but you can be sure he has set himself